Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining us today. We are going to be making a card using some products from the latest release. We are going to be using the Antique Layered Rose set along with the matching die. We are also going to be using Sealed with Love along with the matching die as well. We are also going to be using Inside Sentiments along with the matching dies. And we are also going to be using the Delicate Lace Stencil as well along with this. We're also going to be using the new Love Letters box set or Love Letters uh, die as well. We're going to be using some white cardstock, some pattern paper from the Hugs and Kisses pattern paper set, and we're also going to be using a card base. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and get this stencil all stenciled out. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to be making the little love note envelope uh, for our love note here. So I'm going to take the stencil, I'm going to spray it with some pixie spray here. That is going to make sure that the stencil holds down to the cardstock as I'm going to be doing some ink blending here. So I went ahead and sprayed it off camera because I need to spray it in a box so it doesn't go everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and press that down onto the paper. I'm going to make sure it's secure. And then what we're going to be using is some uh, spray here. It's the Distress Mica Stain Winter Berry. This is no longer available. This was only available over through the holidays, and I was able to get a bottle of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this down onto the stencil. And I'm just going to let that dry for a second. And basically, this is a mica spray that has like some gold uh, mica in it, so it's kind of shiny. And I'm going to hold that up to you uh, or show it to you in a second but what I'm going to do is I don't want to waste this there's more paint onto the um, the stencil here so I want to go ahead and spray that with some water and then reverse it and put it on another piece of cardstock and then you guys I could use this for a card at another time so you're not wasting as much you already have a card uh, you know a card base that's ready to go for another card I'm not going to use it for this video but um, yeah, we have one already. So the next thing I wanted to do is go ahead and make an envelope out of this. So here I am, I'm like, oh, it's a little bit too big. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down so that I can get it through my die cutting machine. Y'all, here in a second, you're gonna see this is a problem for me because if you just saw just a second ago, it's not gonna fit because I cut it too short, but I'm smart. I put this at a diagonal and it fits, so I felt so proud of myself. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and stick that through the die cutting machine so we can get that cut out. And this is gonna make the little box for our little love letter that we're gonna be making. And it's pretty easy to put together. It is already pre-folded uh, here for you, or it has uh, lines already printed for you to go ahead and get this uh, fold it up. So I'm just going to take the Teflon bone folder here and I'm going to fold it on the um, embossed lines here so that we can go ahead and get the box made. I'm not going to show you this whole process because, um, you know, it's a little boring, but it's kind of self-explanatory actually through the whole process. You're just folding it on the lines and then here it is done. So that's the front, this is the side, and there's the back. And I'm just going to open it up for you here and Basically, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and get a, um, a little um, adhesive eraser here because there's a little bit of adhesive left over from spraying the pixie spray on it. And I'm just going to rub this off so that it doesn't show up on the white paper. It's like not a big deal. This is just me being kind of anal and taking it off. Um, so I went ahead and used the eraser to do that. And now what we're going to do is go ahead and... Uh, cut the love note here and we're just going to take that second piece of die here and go ahead and get that die cut out and we're going to fold it on the, in the on the embossed line and we have the love card or the love note ready already so i want to put this pattern paper on the front of this uh, love note because i'm also going to be adding uh, the layered rose to this as well so basically i'm just cutting this down to the size of what the love note is. And you can see at the very bottom left-hand corner, I have it on the ruler, so I'm trying to figure out what the measurements are here. 
uh, go ahead and have it cut out. And we're going to go ahead and get some honeybee glue, sta honeybee stamps glue here, and go ahead and get this placed onto the front of the love note. And this is a super small card. I think it's like two and a quarter by three, maybe. It's pretty small, you guys. Super cute, though. So I have that down. It's pressed down. And now we have the front of the card done. And now I want to secure this little boxed envelope. So all I'm going to do is get some double-sided adhesive here. And once I get that placed on there, I'm going to go ahead and push down the flap of the bottom of the envelope here. I'm going to remove the release tape here from the glue. I want to make sure it's pressed down all the way onto the paper before I do that. And then once that's done, I'm going to fold this over and then we are going to press this down. Now I was having a little issue here, so how I resolved this was I took my Teflon boulder, folder, put it into the envelope, and then just pressed it down. So then it was secure that way. Now that we have the envelope done, I want to put a sentiment on the outside of this, so we're going to go ahead and take the Sealed with Love sentiment set, stamp set, and the piece that I cut off here, we are going to do some heat embossing on. So I have the piece of paper here. It matches the uh, little envelope that we made. And I'm just going to take the sentiment and I'm going to place it onto this paper. And we're going to be doing some gold heat embossing. So I'm going to take some embossing ink, the embossing ink pad from Honeybee Stamps here and go ahead and get this good and juiced up. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink that up. Once that's inked up, I'm going to put some gold embossing powder on it and I'll heat this off. Um, off camera and you'll see that it's actually done here. Now we are just going to take the matching die and we're going to go ahead and get that cut out uh, through the die cutting machine. We're going to secure it with some yellow tape here or any you know uh, low tack tape that you might have and we're going to go ahead and place it down to the die and stick it through the die cutting machine and we're going to glue it to the top of the envelope here. Because, you know, you want a little something that says, oh, hey, this is, you know, a little prize. This is, you know, something's cute inside. So we have that glued onto the front of the envelope. And now we are going to start working on the layered rows. Or actually, we're going to do the, I'm sorry, we are going to do the inside sentiment first. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the sentiment uh, from the stamp set here. I'm trying to figure out what fits where, you know, how big it's going to be. So I have the sentiment down here. And I'm going to rub the stamp because it's the first time we've used it. And I'm going to go ahead and ink it up and go ahead and get this stamped out. I want to make sure that it's a clear stamp before we do that because, you guys, how many times have you stamped something and it doesn't come out the first time and you kind of have to start over, right? It's like the worst. So I have that stamped out. I have it inked up. I put it down. It came out perfect, y'all, because you know what? I tested it out before I did the first stamping. So we have that done. We're going to get cleaned up here, and then the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and start the process of getting the rows put together here. So basically, the instructions come with the rows. I'm going to do the bottom layer first, the second layer, the third layer, and the fourth layer on this rose, along with uh, two leaves. There are two rose buds here um, in the stamp set, but I only decided to use one. I only decided to use the leaves and not the stem for the leaves either because I'm putting it on a little two and a quarter by three card. I, I don't even know what the size is. It's super small, you guys. So basically, you're going to use any inks that you have on hand in your stash, and you're going to go from lightest to darkest when you do these, um, you know, these layers because that's just how the instructions say to do it. If you did it the opposite way, it wouldn't really show up as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stamped out. I did stamp this out twice because I didn't really get a good impression the first time. And now I'm going to do the same thing with the lightest green. I'm going to take the light green and go ahead and get that stamped up and go ahead and stamp that over. Now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and get the second uh, layer here of the stamp set lined up. And it's pretty easy. The lines here show you how to get this lined up. Um, as you get more detail into the rows, it gets a little bit more difficult. That's why you need the instructions next to you. Um, this was actually the first time I used this stamp set, so I was actually going through the process. And so it took me a little longer to go ahead and get these out, but once I 
figured it out, I won't have an issue anymore. Another way that you can help this out is just by putting little marks on the back of the stamp with maybe like a black um, Sharpie so that you can line them up the same every time. Um, you could do that as well. So I have those lined up. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to ink up all these uh, flat, these second layers here of the rows. And then I will also do the second layer to uh, the leaves as well using the next to darkest color. And as you can see there, I went ahead and stamped that out. I did stamp it out twice. Most of these I did do two stampings because I wanted to make sure I have the best um, impression possible. So there's the second stamp set. And you know, those leaves, you can kind of leave them like that if you wanted. You wouldn't even have to go any further, but you know, I did. So I'm going to go ahead and get this lined up. You're going to line that up with the other lines of the uh, second stamp set or the second layer that you did. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the leaves. And as you see here, I'm trying to study the little document to the left there to see exactly where I need to place these. And I'm going to go ahead and get those placed onto the, that leaf and get that lined up. And then here I am referring to the document again, making sure I'm getting it all lined up as good as possible. Of course, my head's showing up because that's how I get things lined up. Look at my non-existent hair. <laughs> So I have those lined up and then we are going to go ahead and get this last or this third layer up. I'm going to use the next to darkest pink. Go ahead and stamp that through. And then I will do the same thing for the green leaves. I'll use the next green, next darkest green. I'm going to rub those stamps because we haven't used them before. And we'll go ahead and get those stamped out and then the third layer will be complete. Okay, we have the third layer done. Now it's time for the last layer. This is when the rose starts to pop. You're like, whoa, that's amazing. That's great. Uh, here I am. I had to pull the document closer to me because I wanted to make sure that I got this lined up. So I have it lined up here. I'm trying to get it perfect. I'm looking at the document. You have to go back and forth, make sure you have it lined up. Because I believe, like, to me, this one was the hardest to get lined up, actually, um, for the rose. So what I had to do was take the outline of the rose and line that up and go ahead and stamp the outline of the rose so that I could get that last uh, really dark layer uh, placed onto the rose. And as you see here, I'm like struggling because I, you know, the lines aren't, you're, you want to make sure that the lines are right because when you put in the black outline here, it's, you, you need to have it right. If not, then you're going to have to start all over. And guess who didn't have time for that? Me. So I had it right the first time. And actually, the outline layer here actually makes it pop a little more. I actually enjoy it. So now that we have that out, we're going to go ahead and get this last piece of this rose stamped out so that we can get this rose done. And we're going to use the darkest uh, pink here that we have. And go ahead and get that stamped out and look at that the rose is complete it looks so amazing it's so beautiful it, it looks lifelike and then we're going to go ahead and stamp the outer layer of the leaves as well i'm going to go ahead and do that twice because i want to make sure it's a really good impression and there we go we have that done the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and get these little things these little mamas uh, die cut out so we're just going to use the matching dies here and go ahead and get those placed um, onto the paper and get them fixed with some low tack tape here and we'll run them through the die cutting machine and wow look at that you guys that looks so amazing it looks so pretty I think the color pop on the back of that uh, pattern paper which to me I think that pattern paper should really be a background stamp so honeybee stamps if you're listening to this please do that. <laughs> so we're going to use the same glue here. Go ahead and get the leaves stamped out, or I'm sorry, glued down. Um, I'm holding them in place where I had them because I didn't trust myself to put them back in the exact same spot. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep my fingers down on there and then just spread some glue up under those leaves to guarantee that they're going to stay in the same place. The painful part of this is cutting off a piece of these extra leaves. But 
it's a must. I have to, I needed that to fit in the envelope. So here we go. We have the 3M foam tape. We're going to place this on here and pretty much the card is going to be done, you guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting Honeybee Stamps and all their releases. Uh, you know, we truly appreciate it. Here I am going to show you how it fits into the envelope. Uh, make sure that you head over to Instagram and check out all the uh, projects that the team makes. Also, there's going to be a lot more reels coming to you guys, so keep an eye out on those. Make sure you like the reels, you share them, you save them, and all that great stuff. And you can check me out over on YouTube and Instagram by searching for Bear Merrill Cards. Once again, here's the finished card. I love it. It's so pretty. It's simple. You can put a gift card in this. You can put it in someone's lunchbox. It's so great. So you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.